what we have here is a military vehicle radio uh, model VRC 4622 VRC 4622 it consists of a mounting MT 4620 a transmitter receiver uh, model RT uh, 4600 and a loudspeaker control unit uh, type AF 4620 it was made by Philips Magnavox and it's uh, actually pretty recent and this model is still in use by militaries around the world the radio covers 30 to uh, here we are at 30 to 79.975 so almost 80 megahertz 30 to 80 megahertz and it does that in 25 kilohertz steps and of course uh, that covers the handbands I have it on uh, 52.225 and we'll test it at that frequency in a minute now a quick uh, let's have a quick overlook over the uh, controls for this radio probably easier when we turn it on all right now what we have here is uh, volume control for both the handset or the headset as well as the uh, intercom unit here is a separate volume control for the speaker speaker can be turned off we have three power levels for the radio 2, 10 and 30 watts I'll show you that in a minute here we have uh, a combination switch this is another way to turn it off here we have the squelch off so this is basically uh, pass through squelch is off audio is active this is what I call the ham squelch normal carrier squelch uh, so when an external signal one two three when an external signal comes in one two three from my uh, Yezu here one two three it will uh, kick in this is a tone squelch this is military tone squelch military uses 150 Hertz tone which is not compatible with uh, normal PL tones but if you have a PRC 77 for instance that uses the same tone squelch the nice thing about this radio is that you actually can turn that off and go to normal carrier squelch the PRC 77 cannot do that this is a mode where the uh, discriminator filtering the uh, pre-emphasis and de-emphasis is turned off this is to work with digital equipment like uh, voice encryption and, uh, and digital transmission methods so then this position would be used and this is a position where we uh, actually have the dial lights visible so in ham mode if you want to use it for ham radio you would obviously use it in normal uh, carrier squelch mode um, and that's basically all there is to it there is obviously uh, in and outputs uh, for uh, peripheral equipment um, that's uh, not used right now so this uh, unit can be part of a larger configuration but the way you see it here it is a standalone transmitter receiver unit the VRC uh, 4622 uh, this is uh, where the uh, microphone or the tailor mic goes this is where uh, power input goes uh, the radio works of uh, 22 to 32 volts and uh, that's kind of an inconvenience in most vehicles so I'm using it with this DC DC converter that uh, converts uh, I think 8 to 18 volts to 26 volts uh, uh, regulated 
and that works very well so you could you could actually run this whole installation from a dirty power supply and this unit makes it uh, a nice clean 26 volts uh, regulated works perfect so you can use it in a uh, normal 12 volt car system or if you have a 24 volts military vehicle you can obviously use it with the uh, standard cable that comes with it this is the power cable which is remarkably flexible and uh, that uh, supplies the radio with the 26 volts in this case uh, let's uh, have a look at the uh, modulation and the uh, receive capability of this radio now power levels uh, I already told you it's uh, 210 or 30 watts I have a uh, bird watt meter here but that element only goes from 2 to 30 megahertz so what I can do is turn the radio to 30 megahertz by the way the radio has a motorized pre-post selector so it takes a while to get there uh, there is an RF pre-post selector to uh, make sure that these radios can work in close frequency vicinity when you have multiple radios on the battlefield, uh, battlefield so they don't interfere with each other uh, anyway we have it now at 30 point uh, 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 exact 30 megahertz exact and I can show you the power levels this is uh, this is low power it's a little bit more than 2 watts full scale is right now 50 watts so two and a half watts this is medium power we're having a little bit more than 10 watts I think this meter is a little bit optimistic this is full power and it shows 50 watts but that cannot be correct I think it's more like 40 this meter is a little bit on the optimistic side but as you see it gives off good power now the power that we have the current that you see here from this 12 volt power supply is about 10 amps in that case of course that's with the 12 volt source that means that the output of the regulator is uh, the DC DC converter is about 5 amps maybe a little bit less because the efficiency of this device is about uh, 80% I think so uh, you see it works quite well let's go back to uh, our ham frequency and see uh, how the modulation sounds one two three four five I have it I have it on the dummy load if I put it in the antenna Go a little bit back in power. One, two, three, four, five. We're now on the antenna. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. This is the VRC at 4622. Good modulation. And we're going to one, two, three, four, five. This is the Yesu. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if I go. 25 kilowatts up nothing coming through and now we're back again radio is digitally synthesized the digital synthesizer in here the radio is uh, quite a uh, an artwork uh, the inside is modular build up uh, very well constructed and um, as you see it works very well you see the two modules transmitter receiver mounting and of course the intercom unit and uh, I will disconnect it and uh, show you the rear of the radio but uh, this one is uh, NOS new old stock it was never used this uh, was never actually installed in any mi uh, military vehicle it's like uh, brand new here we see the uh, uh, rear of the radio as you can see we have a uh, power supply unit the regulator that's what you see in the back here and that is a uh, PP4621 here we have the power amplifier unit which is the I don't know if that comes out visible there it is AM 4600 uh, power amplifier 
and that is basically a uh, 30 watts power amplifier 30 to 40 watts interconnect cable between the two it is possible to connect it to a uh, field telephone 600 ohm lines uh, we have here another interface connector uh, to interface with uh, additional peripheral equipment where necessary we have this as a loop through you can hook an additional duplex filter in between this here if more uh, adjacent channel rejection is needed and what you see here is the actual antenna output for the uh, amplifier the 30 watt output that is the uh, rear of the radio pretty big uh, heat sinks to get rid of the heat it's really uh, a professional piece of equipment all right that was it the VRC 4600 uh, 4622 excuse me the uh, military uh, uh, radio frequency modulated 30 to 80 megahertz and 25 kilohertz steps and um, still in use by many armies today uh, this particular one was used in jeeps and uh, larger military vehicles there was also a version where this unit here, the base unit, could be used in a man pack configuration and um, that's uh, not what we have here because here we have the high power version with the uh, 30 watts uh, power amplifier plugged into the back thank you for watching this video